so we be taking the so welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new hey girl hey i hope you stay um as you can read in the title below this is going to be a detailed um makeup tutorial um, my last tutorial that I did wasn't really so much of a tutorial, but more of a transformation video, which I actually surprisingly received a lot of love for, which I really, really, really appreciate the love, you guys. Thank you so much. As you can tell, I am in a different setting. I'm actually in my room. Okay, so this is what happened. This My studio is closest to the kitchen, and I kind of burnt some french fries, and it got really smoky in the house, and my studio got extremely smoky, and my eyes was burning. I was like <coughs> coughing. So, um, yeah, I'm in my room today, and I'm gonna do this makeup tutorial in my room. So hopefully the light is good. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do something new today, and if it gets darker, I'm gonna just bring my ring light in here so y'all can you know so I can brighten up the room a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to be using the box of crayons um, by Supa. I actually used this case before in, in another tutorial, if you go back in my old tutorials. I think I used this like four months ago um, for that yellow look that I did. And that was the last time I used it. I have not used it since then. So this will be the second time that I'm using the box of crayons uh, makeup palette. I had no clue what look I was gonna do for you guys today, but I was like, let's just wing it. And I have not tried this look before, so I don't know how this is gonna come out. And if you are watching this video right now, that means it came out super bomb, and I needed y'all to see it, period. I swear you guys, this look is not about to be like nothing super, super crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, you can literally apply this to your eyes with your um finger. The first color I'm going to go into is magenta. And I'm going to actually use my hand for this color. I'm going to just use my finger. It's like a, a shimmery pink, which I think is so pretty. And I actually just thought of something, too. That I think I'm gonna do on here. And then you done! <laughs> no, I'm just like <laughs> Girl, could you imagine? Next, I'm gonna go in with this. Let me turn this around. I'm gonna go in with this pink right here. And I'm gonna take my brush, dip it up in there, dip it up in there, dip it up in there. Boom, boom, boom. And then what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to go in at the top. My friend is actually coming because I need to put a weave in her head so she won't be looking crazy for Thanksgiving. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking that light pink and I'm just buffing out that harsh line that I got from that uh, shimmer magenta color. I just want to buff it out. I'm sorry if I'm in the way, you guys, if I'm not all the way in the frame. I'm just going to buff this out. I don't know how to talk and put makeup on. I don't think I'm a really good multitasker. I try to do a mukbang that I never posted because I was just talking and talking and talking and talking and I was not um, eating. <laughs> I promise you I was not eating. But then if you feel like you lost a little color in there, you can always just apply it back. It's just like back and forth when it comes to applying your makeup, you guys. Um, I might end up having to move my locations. And what I mean by that is I might go back to my studio to finish off this look, which might come off a little tacky, but you know, bear with me, y'all. Blended. She look a little crazy, but she blended. Extra color up 
the mirror. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of like brush the um some of the excess color off of here because I'm just gonna be using one brush for my top lid. That's how easy um, this look is gonna be at the top. I think makeup can look so crazy before you finish it. But once it's finished, baby, okay, you know, you look cute. So now I'm about to go in with this purple. And I'ma just go in at the top and just add a little purple, add a little purple. Just a little purple. And the key to anything, the key to a really good eyeshadow is blending. I really feel like your eyeshadow can really be popping as long as you're blending it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's not blended, then I don't know. I don't know, sis. You can be throwing all type of crazy colors in here. But if it's blended, you in the game. I think it's cute. I think it's like, I need to finish it because I do look a little, I look a little questionable. Like, if you mess up your liner, that's fine. What I do is I go put a little product right here, a little concealer. I go in to where like, I kind of mess my line up. And I just go over it. I feel like I'm losing daylight. This was probably a bad idea. I usually like to wait until it's a little drier to pinch it. But I'm pressed for time, so... And then... Though I hate white glue because you can see it, this white glue actually dries down clear. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Let's put the other one on. I like it. See, I don't like that white stuff, but it dried clear. But when you first put it on, it be looking like, girl. My friend is here, y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> Say hi. Hey. No, I, I swear I was trying to film y'all, but then here she comes. I need a weave. Period. I need a weave. So now... I got to redo everything. No, I'm not. I'm not going to redo everything. What's going to happen is, I should turn this to the side. What's going to happen is, I'm going to do her weave. And then after I'm done with her weave, I'm going to get back to this makeup tutorial. But I'm going to be in a different location. I'm going to be right back in this studio. I'm not going to be in my room no more because by the time I'm done with her hair, I'm not going to have no more daylight. So, that's what that is. You ready? Girl, bye. Hurry up and do this bald head. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I lost daylight. Um, I just finished my friend's hair. So now we're going to get to the foundation. We're going to color correct and then we're going to get to the foundation and then um, contour and then we're going to finish the eyes. It's so dirty. I seen, um, I seen somebody using the red and I was like, ooh. I want to use the red just because I thought it was cool. And I'm going to go in now with my um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the number 360. 360, what is this? Mocha. 
Mocha Maka? Something like that. I don't know. Is this my empty one? I'll be running out of foundation. Yes. Oh, yep, it's my empty one. <laughs> I gotta go back to Walmart. <sighs> that is crazy. I'm running out of makeup. I gotta go back to Walmart. <laughs> For real. So now I end up having to go in the color 368 Deep Golden. So. My friend was telling me while she was here, she was like, dang. You wasn't as tight as you was a year ago. She's like, you uh, growth is for real. Your growth is real. And I was, we was looking at some videos on my channel while I was doing her hair. And I was like, dang, I did come a long, long, long way. Ah. My God. My videos have gotten so much better. My look, my overall appearance has just gotten so much better. Like, the glow up is real. The glow up is so real. That's crazy. I used to be in the streets looking like, girl. You have no friends, I can tell. <laughs> I don't need to really explain to you this part. Going into my Fenty, Fenty. um, Matchstick in the color Espresso. Yeah. I'm trying to be dark. You hear me? Dark. Oh, you trying to be dark too, Mama? So now I'm about to start beating this in. And I mean beating it in, y'all. Not smudging it. But beating it in. I really thought I wasn't going to be able to talk to y'all and do makeup at the same time, but I think I'm doing good. Get inside your hairline, sis. I'm not playing with y'all. Oh my God, for Thanksgiving, I'm about to be hella extra. For Thanksgiving, I'm about to be so extra, y'all. My contour about to be like, oh, extra. Oh my God, I can't wait to be extra in people house. Who cooking for Thanksgiving? Or who cooked for Thanksgiving? I should say, who cooked? You need to be quiet. Who cooked and did not invite me to their house? I'm mad I got this. Wow. My hair is like all in my face. I hate that. Um, I'm going back in uh in my crayon palette. Um, I'm going back in the color magenta. 
the first color that we put on here earlier. I'm actually going to go in my um, holographic palette by Milani. You got the gold, the blue, the pink. And I'm actually go into that pink and we'll put it in my crease area. And I'm taking that pink and I'm gonna highlight my face with that. I was actually thinking about a lime green. Oh my God, let's see. Let's see, look. We not being scary, right? All right, so onto the lips. So I'm just overlining my lips. So when I line it, I go in the corners and I bring it out like that. I bring it out. I like a wide center. I know most girls bring it all the way here and here and do a small center, but I like a wide center. And I just uh, put my lips together to um, spread the product around. Ooh. Let's use the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color and the color, it doesn't tell me the color. Oh, and the color natural. Oh, that's what that looks like. Turn it around, turn it around. I actually got this from my loco family dollar. I think I only paid like two bucks for it. I think I'm gonna do um I think I'm gonna keep it matte. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and um put my last finishing touches on it. Um I think I'm like overall finished. Yeah. That's my phone going off again, but um, I'm about to go ahead and set it with my Urban Decay, and then yeah. So I'm about to go finish this look. I'm about to put my um, outfit on, uh, lay my hair. And show you guys the finishing look. So this is the finishing look. Um, I did my whole eye with using the um, box of crayon eyeshadow palette. I really do love that palette. Um, I, I know if you guys watched my last video that I did with the yellow look that I did with the eyeshadow palette, you... Um, would remember that I was complaining a lot because I could not get that yellow 
to pop up on my eye like I wanted it to, how it popped up on my finger. And um, somebody had comment under there saying that I needed an eyeshadow primer and it would have popped up and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have needed so many layers of that yellow to pop out. Um, with the colors that I use today, with the magenta, the pink, and the purple, um, I had actually put it on my skin, on my eyelid, before I did the look to see how pigmented it was. And I mean, it was pigmented, like super, super like, you didn't need a primer because it was just like, pow, 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 pow. So, um, I just went on with my usual and I just, um, primed my eyelids with, uh, my LA Pro Concealer, my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And as you can see, like, the turnout is so bomb, you guys. I really love this look like this is gorgeous I have never did such like such a extra out shadow before um, I decided to go with a new lip because I wanted I didn't want my lip to be too busy because my eyes are already super busy I didn't want my lip to be super busy so I stuck with the nude um, with a brown liner I love overlining my lips. Something about that big, puffy top lip. It just it, it just captures my soul. Like I love it. But um, tell me how you guys feel about my hair. If you follow my Facebook, my Snapchat, and my and my Instagrams and stuff like that, most of my pictures I have my bun. Like that is my signature look. A bun is my signature look. I rarely put heat to my hair. Like. Ever. So um I went to a girlfriend's house last night. The actual I actually went to uh my friend's house that you seen earlier in this video. I went to her house last night to get my hair flat ironed. She's also a stylist, so we just swap services like and even though she do hair, I do hair, we still find a way to look dusty every day. Like it don't make no sense. So 2019, it's a wrap. It's Hair late for what? Why do I look dusty for what? I mean, I may still have my sweatsuits on, but this hair, baby, is gonna be. Look at how healthy that look, y'all. Oh my god! Don't let me get. Don't let me get started. But anyway, um, she did my hair last night. She flat ironed it for me, really good, as you can see. No pressing comb, all flat iron, and she laid the hell out of this hair, y'all. Like, I mean, she laid me. Um, so she came over and got her weave and, you know, I had to lay my baby before Thanksgiving because she really blessed me last night. But tell me what you think about this look. Like, this is a new look for me. I really like this look on me. This pop, <laughs> this pop is life. I am giving so much. I know I'm giving y'all life. I know I am. Like. There's no way you looking at me right now not saying, dang, she popping. <laughs> but listen, Linda, what we not going to do is not address these grades. You guys, I'm almost 30 years old. I'm really sad about that. That's a whole nother story. I'm going to tell you, I think I'm going to do a, a, a chit chat video. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm so sad that I'm almost 30, okay? And I know most of you are probably, most of you guys watching is, is probably 30 or over. And y'all thinking like, what are you trying to say? What, what are you saying? Sis, I'm going to explain what I'm saying, okay? 30 scares me. I'm really sad that I'm almost 30. But enough about that. If you guys would like to see me do more tutorials like this in the future, give this video a thumbs up. If you're in a good mood, share it. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe. If you want to be notifi notified every time I drop a video, hit the notification button below and it will notify you every time I drop a video. If you guys have any tips that you would like to leave me or if you guys have any looks that you would like to see me do, please leave it in the comment section below. And I will try my hardest to get that 
content out to you guys. I have so much awesome things planned for this channel. Um, again, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, I have a lot going on, so I cannot be as dedicated to my YouTube channel as I would like to be. But like I said before, I want to drop at least a video a week for you guys, so I do not leave you guys hanging. I am very much so active on my Instagram because I am a hairstylist. I do hair almost every day, so anything that I post will be on my Instagram. Um, but I will try to do a get ready with me at least once a week or a vlog of some sort. Um, I actually want to do a vlog for tomorrow, which is Thanksgiving. And I'm going to everybody's house. I'm not even playing. I'm picking up food everywhere. I was just talking to my husband like, what's the plan? What are we doing? And he like, look, I'm doing what you're doing. So if you're doing what I'm doing, we about to go driving around the neighborhood, honey, to go pick up some plates. Because my clients is waiting for me. My clients love me. Do you understand? They was like, come get this food, sis. Period. And I was like, say no boss. That is it for this video. I will see you in my next one. Until then, don't forget to always just be beautiful.